G'day guys, Smiley Rob here. Today we're going to work on make files. I recently learned a whole bunch of little tricks that have really helped my workflow out and I hope it can help you out as well. So let's jump right in. On the left over here I've got a, a very simple make file. I've defined some objects that it includes main.o. Uh, main.c is a very simple application as you can see here, just a main line and printing a very original hello world. Cool, and then coming back, I've got some C flags. I just like to print that out if I've got any issues. Um, sometimes it has dash G if I need to do some debugging. And then the name of the executable, I've just called make file tester for today, but that's the bit you'd change per project. Cool, and then, and if you've done any make files, this is all uh, fairly standard. I've got a build for uh, my objects and it goes and compiles um, using the C flags, compiles all the objects and calls it a certain name. So if I go ahead and save that, and come back over to terminal. I'll just show you. I've got two files, it's nice and easy. And I go make. And you can see there it's made my my object file and my executable. And if I go forward slash make tester, boom, I've got hello world. Super. So that's that's make files. Now I found myself cleaning a lot. So after, after I've created, after I run make, I get this O file and this executable, and while I'm doing my homework, I'm making horrible code, so I want to clean up after myself all the time. So I made a new thing. It doesn't have any requirements, but it does run remove first forcefully any O files. I want to get rid of all those. And the second thing I want to do is forcefully remove anything with our name. Right, so that's that's very simple. So I want to get rid of anything that ends in O, and and the file itself. So let's go ahead and test that out. So I've got make, and then just to run that, I run make clean. Cool. And if that did its job, we're back to just having two files. So that's great. All right, now um, now some of you that are used to terminal would be would know the command clear, and that clears the screen. This leads me to my next thing where I say make clear, right? I've typed in clear just before and it makes sense. It's fresh in my mind. I press clear and it's like, whoa, buddy, there is no such thing as clear. So there's an easy fix for that one. You just go make it. So the way to do that is you just write. It's basically uh, just uh, type deafing if you like. Um, no, it's no such, it's not even close. And make clear, if I call that, it does the same as, as make clean. Um, actually, that could have a bit of an insult there. So let's just um, not make clear, silly. And, and uh, let's just go make, make, make clear. Cool, just prints out a patronizing saying there, uh, but it still does the same thing, which makes it really easy. All right. So that's really good. I can build and I can clean or clear if I'm feeling like it. And then finally, what I found myself doing is that I would jump over to my editor, update my C file, come over to here, do a make B, uh, which will just forcefully override all the objects and compile them all again and link them together. Um, and then I would try and go forward slash and then what's the name of it? Oh yeah, I think it's make, there it is. And I get hello world. Then I jump back over here, I make some changes, I come over here, I go make dash b, and then it's dot forward slash, um, what's the name of the file? Oh yeah, that's right, it's make that. And, and I found that I was doing the same, same thing over and over again. So uh, let's make that a little bit better. So I made a little function called run, and all that will do is basically do what I need it to do, do the uh, make build, and if that was successful, go ahead and uh, run it. And because we know the name of it, that becomes really easy. So it's gonna run that first, and then it's gonna follow it up by executing it straight away. And I actually like to put in a cheeky little echo in the middle, just so it prints out a little nicer. Um, C programmer with tidy coding always goes a long way. Um, so let's clear that up. And so all I have to do is go make run, and you can see there it's, it's done the build, it's made the new uh, object files, it's done a little uh, echo, 
in the middle to give myself a blank line and it's executed so I get my little hello world at the end. So that's, that's all well and good. And I could stop there and that might make your life easier, but I thought I'd show you one last pro tip is that wouldn't it be cool, let me just clear this out, wouldn't it be cool if you only had to press one character? And that is super easy. Um, I've just set up an alias. If I look for, uh, where do I quit, keep all of these? Boop, dot files. Oh, do I even know how? D dot file, bro. Of course I do. All right, so if I just look in my uh, dot files for my Z shell, I've actually made an alias for M, which just calls make run for me. So there's just a, a simple little helpful hint. Now I can just press M every time I want to do it, change my code, come back here, press M, and, it's, and it runs it every time. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, I use it all the time now while I'm learning C programming. And uh, if you do like uh, what you've seen, then feel free to like, comment, and share. And uh, feel free to request any other tutorials that you want. Thanks very much.